what the hell happened? Like, I didn't hate the game whatsoever, but this feels like such a disappointing ending to Resident Evil month, especially after how much I praised the other two. All right, let's just get into it. So the Resident Evil 3 remake came out in 2020 and- This pandemic has spread faster than any disease in modern history. This is first Wait, am I playing the game or is this the actual news? So when this game came out, there were two kinds of people. There were people that played this game who enjoyed it from beginning to end, and then there were people that played the original Resident Evil 3 who were pissed. I mean, I had my small gripes on Resident Evil 2 as a remake, but this was almost disrespectful for all the things they cut out. And I already had somewhat of a red flag when I found out that this game was coming a year after the Resident Evil 2 remake, because after playing the finished product, it just feels rushed. So in this game, you play as Jill Valentine and Carlos Oliveira. Yeah, I probably pronounced that awful. Jill was in Raccoon City to investigate some of Umbrella's more questionable activities, and Carlos is a part of the Umbrella Biohazard Countermeasure Service, taking survivors to safety. And during this time, they run into some zombies, people are freaking out, and an unstoppable tyrant known as Nemesis is on their trail as well. So now their goal is to get all the survivors out of Raccoon city before the entire city goes Okay, I feel like I've been mostly negative so far in this review, so let's talk about some positives. I actually enjoyed the story, and the gameplay is just as good as RE2's combat in their remake. Hell, I'd even say they improved it, giving us this new dodge mechanic as well. And I really enjoyed the monsters in this game. I may even say I enjoyed the monsters in this game more than the RE2 monsters, from the returning liquors to the new Hunter Betas and Hunter Gammas. So the gameplay should have made this a superior remake make, right? This should have been better than the original, right? The problem, however, are the things that should have been in the game, but were cut out. I can take cutting enemies, but when you take out entire areas that were in the original, then you should have expected the pissed off reaction the OG fans had. Clock Tower, gone. Raccoon Park, gone. And Dead Factory, gone. And the decision making aspect is completely gone from this game. Now I didn't expect them to use it in the game, but it would have been cool if they at least added some form of decision making in this game. But considering everything else they cut, I knew it wasn't going to be in this game. But for me, none of that compares to the biggest disappointment in this game. Let's talk about Nemesis. Nemesis was one of, if not the most iconic Resident Evil monster of all time. Anyone who knew somewhat about Resident Evil at least heard the name before. I mean, the original game is called Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. Nemesis. This was his game! There's a reason why his movie was the best live action Resident Evil movie, and why he was in spin off games like Marvel vs. Capcom, because he was one of the first horror icons in video games. Umbrella needed a weapon to wipe out all the surviving members of Stars, and that's how Nemesis was born. He was fast, he was powerful, he was unkillable, and he was downright terrifying. Whenever he says stars, it straight up gives me chills. Stars. Nemesis was one of the most badass monsters we have ever seen in the Resident Evil franchise. But in the remake, he really isn't as intimidating as he should have been. And it also doesn't help that Mr. X was used so much better compared to Nemesis, when Nemesis is supposed to be a more stronger, terrifying version of him. But yet somehow, he feels like the downgrade. Mr. X was unpredictable, and whenever I heard his footsteps, I would get drenched with fear and sweat, just praying he wouldn't find me. Where with Nemesis, especially if you replay the game is so predictable. Almost all of his sections are planned, and if you've done it before, you know what to expect. Especially considering that most of his scenes are just movable cutscenes or quick time events. So that automatically takes away the fear element. He doesn't even kill Brad in this game. See, for me, the game could have been shit for all I care, as long as they used Nemesis in the way he deserved to be. In the demo, he was terrifying, but in the actual game, he was so predictable 
predictable. And that's probably the main thing that took points off for this game. But at the end of the day, Resident Evil 3 was able to give me some fun gameplay, great visuals, but it does fall short in comparison to the last game, and especially the original. So with all that said, my final verdict for the Resident Evil 3 remake is the bronze seal of approval. Thank you.